Hi guys, welcome back to another hated video, and what a better start than seeing Tom. Okay, well Tom, I'm sorry, I'm not gonna hire you, you can just um, go back to rest, because obviously that's all you want to do. Now in this video, I'm gonna be talking about the new edit mode. Yes, if you guys don't know, the edit mode has actually been updated, and it's a little better. So this is gonna be a little tutorial of the new edit mode, and I'm probably gonna design my farm. Just, you know, a little basic idea of how you can use the edit mode in the game. Now, a little history of the edit mode. Edit mode was actually one of the biggest features of the game introduced back in March 2016. It's been eight years and lives were changed the day this was added. It literally saved so much time and designing became so much more easier, more convenient, and you know, just better. Everybody started designing their farm. I remember back in 2014 when I used to play Hayday, it would literally take hours uh, to decorate the farm. You have to put each and everything with your hands and you know i just get really tired i turn the game off and then i'll come back but not after spring 2016. okay so the first question is where you can find uh the edit mode previously used to be at the bottom right corner close to the friends book but now it's been shifted to the top left corner you just have to tap on the hamburger menu sign over here and you guys can see we also got the scenic mode by the way which basically hides all your icons it's made so that you can take better screenshots and pictures of your farm design. So here we go with the edit mode and okay, was I already designing? I'm just going to close it. Now this has a lot of layouts. You actually just get two for free and then you have to spend diamonds. It's um, 20, 40, and then 80. I have just um, unlocked one more because I'm not a big decorator. You guys might already know I don't design my farm a lot. So that's why I didn't need it. And I think it's a waste for me. But of course, if you love designing, if you want to make different layouts for different themes like Christmas, Halloween, Easter, you could definitely buy more if you want, but they are a little expensive, so be careful for that. So you've got your layouts. Uh, you can copy any layout and put it anywhere you want. Uh, you can also edit the layout. That's how you do your designing. So let's just get into uh, the editing. So here uh, we are. Now some of the changes, well the biggest change that happened after this update is that you can actually buy the decorations within the edit mode. Yes, um, it didn't used to happen before if you guys have been playing the game and I think this was one of the most frustrating moments. Like you're decorating a farm, you're putting hundreds of those fences and then all of a sudden you just drain out of them and your design is just a little away from being perfect. It really annoys you, but not anymore. You can spend diamonds, coins, and anything within the edit mode, like you guys can see. I'm just gonna purchase this um, bicycle over here, which is obviously a waste, but um, I just wanted to show you guys. Another feature, which is I'm just gonna show you guys right now, you can now remove things more easily rather than just tapping individually. Just tap on your erase mode, and remember once you turn your erase mode on, you cannot navigate around your farm. It just, uh, the screen gets locked. You can only do the stuff on this part. So I'm just gonna move my screen over here and let's just say that I wanna erase everything. What would happen previously, I would have to tap individually like this. I mean, you can still do it, but now there's an easier way. You just have to swipe like this. And isn't that amazing? Isn't that perfect? And it's so satisfying. Like, look at that, you guys, look at that. It's just like I'm cleaning all the dirt. Ah, I love it. It's so good. Yeah, so this is um, the thing I really, really love about, you know, uh, this new edit mode. You don't have to do this. You can also tap on all these icons over here if you want to store everything. But sometimes we don't want to do that. We only want to change a certain part. But I think this, um, you know, erasing things with a swipe, this is just so much better. And especially with the fields. Oh my goodness me, the fields were the hardest to put. Now you just have to swipe, swipe, and swipe. That's how you do it. Okay, and of course, um, you can also turn on the scenic mode to see how are you doing and how your design actually looks. And if you want to cancel the editing, you can discard the changes or you can continue editing the spell. Now, if you are working on a layout which is not really your main layout, for example, right here, and let's just say that I put it like this and I'm gonna, you don't have to put everything out to save the layout which is not active. But if the layout is active, you will really have to put out everything. So what I'm gonna do right now, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna use this edit mode to do a little bit of designing. I know you guys hate me for never um, designing my farm, and especially now that it's Halloween. I'm sorry, I know I should have designed my farm. It's just I'm really busy. I really don't get any time. It's not that I don't like designing. Actually, I love it. And sometimes 
when I get that spirit of designing, I could do this for hours and hours. So, um, I think I'm just going to do a bit of designing, and obviously, this is going to be Halloween. That's the theme I'm going to go with. Yeah, this is the part I'm actually going with uh, across the road, but the first thing, I'm just going to store all this crap that I've put out. No idea why. Oh, it just looks so bad. I'm sorry. Uh, what are these? Yeah, these uh, fences. Let's do some more um, decorations over here. This is so fun to play with. This new eraser, it's really uh, satisfying. Uh, okay, there you can go as well. I don't know what I've put over here. That's just a lot of trees. And I think I'm just going to put the trees over here because I don't need trees. And another thing that was added in this edit mode is that the shop is not going to disturb you now while you're, you know, using your uh, brush to put the things out. That really used to be annoying back in the day. Well, now it's not. So... I'm going to be honest, I'm not really used to this new edit mode at the moment because I haven't really used it after the update and, you know, it shows all these things over here that I can buy and I'm like, wait, do I have to put them out? But no, they're just uh, there to purchase. I've got some fields, which I'm going to put over here. Okay, perfect. And I've got a machine, which can just go over here. Okay, come on, come on. Yeah, that's it. And this is the kitten house. Yeah, so uh, let's do some designing right now. And the first thing I always go with, you know, when I'm doing any basic designing, it's actually uh, the fences, um, the boundary. I try to create a boundary. So let's see what I can do with over here. All right, now where do you find the fences? Hmm, that's the question, where do you find the fences? So yeah, there we go. And I'm gonna use um, the smidgey fence that I have. Yeah, I've got a lot of them lots of them so we're just gonna put them like this okay come on i just want to erase that let's create a little um i don't know maybe a little halloween symmetry i guess whatever i can actually do i do love these um you know these natural trees by the way they look so freaking cool they look gorgeous 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 uh yeah well that's a really big symmetry that i'm trying to create over here <laughs> okay yeah, like this. And I do have some, you know, the, the symmetry gates as well. So, like, I will put them. Let's see. Okay, we need to put more of the symmetry fences, you know, just to kind of... Wait, you can't put them over here? Hmm, weird. You you really can't. Okay, uh, I don't mind it. Uh, no, you can't. Yeah, that's the end of the farm. So, to kind of complement it, I'm going to go with um, the the trails or maybe the ditches what looks good over here um i think it's gonna be the ditches even though i do have a lot of autumn pads not sure if that's gonna fit here so there we go with all these um trails they are gorgeous but they cost a lot of diamonds they're really expensive i think i once went mad and i spent so many diamonds as i was saying in the beginning when i get into my um, decorating spirit, I could spend hours and I spent so many diamonds, coins, vouchers on uh, designing. Now I don't do it because I just, you know, I don't find it that interesting anymore, but still sometimes I do. Anyways, let's uh, create, let's keep creating this boundary like this. Okay, I hope this looks good. So I'm usually the kind of person that doesn't have any creative ideas when I start designing. I only come up with a design when I'm trying to create it, you know? And that's totally okay, but that's how most of us work, right? You don't always come with great ideas. You're not like Einstein or something. We get to know what we're doing while we're doing it. So yeah, I don't know if that's a good thing or not. I'm just gonna make a way for the symmetry gate if I can, you know, put it over here and that's gonna be over here in the Halloween uh, decorations. Yes, uh, this one over here. Okay, so we're gonna change its location. Okay, I think that um, I need to erase one or like two more and I'll just put it over here. Yeah, that looks kind of cool. Okay, it doesn't look bad. Now, do I need another gate or that's enough? What do you guys think? Um, I think I'm gonna add another gate. But that should be over here at this part. I'll put the gate over here. Yeah, we do need two gates. Sometimes there could be an emergency. You know, there could be a monster, a ghost there, and you just want to run. What are you going to do then? You can't just uh, kill yourself. I'm sorry, um, I would never do that. Now that we have created the boundary, I think I'm just going to go with 
something to kind of make the entrance look a little more spooky. And that's where I'm going to put, now I do have a lot of things. Yeah, the spooky plants. What about um, the Mr. Plant or the Mrs. Plant? I think I'm just going to put the, is it a Mrs.? No, it's just a spooky plant. Hello, why is it a Mr. Plant? And it's just a spooky plant. That doesn't make any sense. We need a Mrs. Plant. Yeah, it's changing their directions like this. And I will put another one over here. Okay, now for those of you who are wondering, how do I have so many Halloween decorations? Well, I am an old player, so I've purchased all these uh, decorations over the past few years. And yeah, there was a time I used to be jealous of the people who used to have so many Halloween decorations. And I was like, why not me? But now I'm so glad, you know, it's the... It's the fruit of my patience, so I'm just so happy. Okay, what's the next thing you put in a symmetry? Of course, mummy pig, mummy pig. We're going to put a coffin over here. We're going to put a coffin over here, and I'm just going to put, you know, this uh, toilet paper tree, which apparently is a lot of people's favorite decoration, and I'm like, I think it's just fine. Like, it's not really my favorite. I'm not so crazy about it, but, yeah, the concept is just, um, it's really cool. And we're going to put some ravens because ravens like a lot of dead things. So, you know, they're like, they're welcome here. And we're just going to, you know, decorate this a little bit with some lilies. And I hope that looks nice because I literally have no idea what I'm doing right now. So I just, I'm sorry, you know, I want it to look nice. And I'm just going to put some of these random lilies close to these, you know, like, uh, okay, come on, what's going on? These trees. Uh, like this, and okay, I don't think I'm gonna put anything over here at the moment. Well, not sure what I'm doing once again, but you know, we're gonna keep trying. We're not gonna stop. We are really not gonna stop. Ooh, I love this spider den decoration so much. This has to be over here. This has to be over here. Now, this is the dangerous area where nobody really dares to come in, and if you do, well, you're gonna sacrifice a lot, and just don't, just don't come here. I'm telling you don't come over here. This is not a good part. And I have these, what are they called? Uh, the spider fence. And that's what I'm gonna put over here. I'm trying to create a little boundary inside a boundary, you know? Okay, now where are those uh, red lilies? Yeah, they're here, they're here, they're here. I'm gonna put them as well. They look gorgeous, they look gorgeous. Okay, yeah, and I think I'll just uh, I'll put a bunch more. So this is the reason I recommend you guys to not really, you know, cut your trees. They look gorgeous when they're there. Okay, you guys, I'm so sorry. I really have no idea what I'm trying to do over here. Just wanted to create a little spooky area with lots of dangerous um, decorations. And what about this carved pumpkin? I don't think it really fits over here. Or maybe it does. Uh, maybe it does. Mm, I need to put another one, and that's going to be here. Yeah, like this, but I do have this one, so I could put that over here. We need another um, red lily. Now, another great thing that was added in this update is that if you put something, and even if it's like in the red area, it's not going to go back. You can simply just uh, drag it from there. So yeah, that's uh, what um, I like about it. Okay, so now... Okay, we're gonna put it over here. Let's put this like this. Okay, well, there's a lemon tree. What's it doing over here? Yeah, okay, let's put a little gnome hut over here because why not? This is the spooky area where the magic is brewing. You know, the witch is working all her potions and a lot of bad stuff is going on around. So you probably also don't want to come over here. I don't really think the symmetry anymore, right? It's just, um, I don't even know seriously what I'm trying to create, but I'm just playing with my Halloween decorations. Okay, yes, and I think I'm gonna put, okay, we do have a flying witch, and there's a lot of other decorations. Now, what about the schoolbird swing? Should I put it over here? Okay, that kind of fits like this, and can I change the direction of it? Okay, like this, and... <laughs> no, I think uh, that looked better. Yeah, like this. It looked better. I know that I've got a plenty of them. Okay, I still have more of these witches. So we're just going to put one here. And I don't want to make this place too crowded, so I think I'm just going to leave it. 
So, uh, okay, well, unfortunately, I couldn't do any more designing, and I think I'm just gonna save it for the moment. I will do the rest later. And if I did, I will probably share it with you guys in one of my future videos. Now that's uh, how it looks. And I know this is probably not a very good design. I'm sorry. I just wanted to give you a basic idea of how this new edit mode works. You got your scenic mode, you got your erase mode, and you can use your brush more effectively. And there's just a lot of other minor changes, but in many ways, it's much, much better. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Let me know your thoughts in the comments about this new edit mode and how often do you edit your farm? And with that being said, if you're not already subscribed to the channel, make sure you do because there's going to be a lot of content coming to this awesome farming game. I'll see you guys soon. Have a good day. Bye.